this out of here. If you guys need any more, let me know. Okay. What do you think, Janet? To me, it looks relatively fluid overloaded. It looks like it has pretty wet full of lungs. Okay. All right, so given our presumed diagnosis and the real lack of response to uh, nebulized salbutamol, I think we should start them on uh, IV Lasix right away and get that Foley catheter in. Okay. So as soon as you're done this, can we do 40 milligrams of IV Lasix in the IV right away? Okay. And we'll need to track his fluid status, make sure the IV is shut off there, not giving too much. Hey guys, respiratory. Oh. What can I do for you guys? Hey, so uh, this guy, uh, uh, he's got a history of asthma and he's post-operative day one from a laparotomy. He looks quite fluid overloaded. I think he's uh, in CHF. Um, would you mind starting BiPAP for us? It looks like the nebulizers haven't worked. Yeah, no problem. Just a little minute, take a quick listen to your breathing. Alright. Here you have a special mask to help you out. I've got Lasix 40. His blood pressure is 200 on 100. Okay, so very hypertensive. So we'll keep the monitors on for the duration of everything and make sure he's uh, improving for this. Okay. And uh, hopefully the bypass will get him to feel a little short breath and open up those airways and uh, help with the CHF. Just TKO now for the IV? Yeah, just keep it open, but don't give them any fluid okay. for the meantime. Lasix is in. Okay. Have we called for the stat ECG as well? I will get do that now. Perfect. So, sir, we're going to be putting a different kind of face mask on that will uh, basically push a little bit more oxygen in and uh, hopefully allow you to feel a little bit better. The RT is just going to set it up for you now. Gonna sneak in beside you here. Put on a tight fitting mask. And it should help you out with your breathing. So far, we've trialed salbutamol on the nebulizer. He looks to be in too much respiratory distress to give him just regular pressure. Okay. But the salbutamol uh, certainly has really a okay. desired response rate. Okay. Um, so we've given him some Lasix. Okay. This guy at 19 got some lab. That's a better thing now. Okay. The ECG tech's not here. I was going to do the ECG once he's got it set up. Okay. Perfect. Once the ECG is done, why don't we uh, consider using something like uh, nitro? Can we put a, a nitro patch on our shoulder once the ECG is done? Okay. Okay. Nitro patch. Okay. 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 Assess the physical exam while we're doing this. Sound better? Pretty similar. The uh, wheezes are a little bit uh, uh, less apparent, but he's definitely still crackling those lungs. We'll give this some time to work, and hopefully that will have an effect. Okay. Looks like his vitals are improving significantly already. Do you feel a little bit better, Mr. Lamb? Okay. <clears throat> have you ever been admitted to the hospital with heart failure before? No. You need to take puffers a lot, like every day. How often do you take your blue puffer? Okay, a couple of times. Yeah, Alright, it looks to be significantly improving with the bypass here. We'll just uh, reevaluate him in about 10 minutes and make sure he's doing better.